This is how I built an AI bot that helps you find leads and stores them in your Google Sheets as well. It is a completely automated process. You do not have to pay for leads ever again. And this AI bot will scrape the internet to find relevant leads for your business. All you have to do is just tell the AI bot what type of businesses are you looking for and what type of leads do you want. And it will actually pull out all the leads from any locality that you mention and it will just serve it directly to you. It also adds it on Google Sheets so that it's much easier to manage. This entire process works automatically on AutoKit, which helps you in easily building out these workflows. So let me first explain how the bot will be structured and then we'll go over to the laptop and actually generate this bot. By the end of this video, I will also share the entire bot completely for free for everyone. So you can go over to the description box or in the pinned comments and check it out. What I've noticed with most of the businesses is the process in which they generate leads is usually one of two methods. The first method is either running ads, which costs a lot of money. The second method is to buy leads directly. There are a lot of platforms that sell you leads data, but even that data is not reliable enough or sometimes they're old and not even of the niche that you serve. So essentially by generating leads using AI bots and automations, you're cutting down your cost of business and generating them completely for free. Now making this bot is really easy, especially using AutoKit as the platform, but you will face a lot of issues or you might face difficulties in setting it up. So over here, make sure to watch the entire video, copy all of my steps as it is. And by the end of this video, you will have your own lead generation automation bot. Okay. So for setting up the bot, we have divided it into three main sections. The first is where you input all of your data. This is done on Telegram. So we first have to create a Telegram bot. Over there, we'll be telling our lead finder agent what exactly are the type of businesses and from where should it find all of these businesses from. Once it has all this data, the AI bot in the second step fetches relevant businesses from Google Maps directly. And in the last and final step, it will then add all of these businesses to your Google Sheets so that it's easier to manage and organize. So this is how the bot will be structured. Now let's go over to my laptop and actually see it in action so that you can develop your own AI bot which generates leads on automation. Okay, so here we are on AutoKit's platform and this is what we'll be using in order to create our entire bot. So how do we do that? Well, just go over to workflows and actually if you go over to the link in my description box, as well as in the pinned comments, it will directly take you to this bot that I've already created. So just click on that link and you'll be taken over to this particular bot. Now how to set it up is something that we'll be talking about over here. So make sure you watch the video till the end and do not miss any steps because if you don't set up the bot correctly, it might not function well. So let's just go ahead and look learn how to set up the bot. The first thing is the Telegram bot. So let's create our Telegram bot. For that, just go over to Telegram and over there, you'd have to search for bot father. Now bot father helps you in creating all of your bots. So how to set up your bot? Well, just type in new bot and it will ask you to name the bot. I'll just keep it as TGXAS bot. Okay. And just make sure that you end the name with the word bot. So let me just do that. After this, you have to set up the username for your bot. So for now, I'll just keep it to Ali Lunky underscore bot and press enter. Okay, perfect. So I have set up the bot and I have this particular token in order to access it via HTTP. So let me just copy this code and keep it safe with me. We'll be using it later down this video. So go over to AutoKit and let's set up our bot. The first thing is you have to select the event. The event is fetch updates from the bot. So any messages sent to this bot will directly be fetched over here in this automation. Next is select the connection. So over here, we'll just select our connection or actually create a new connection with the bot token that we have already generated. So just paste your bot token over here and name this as your telegram bot. Once you do that, click on connect telegram and let's move ahead. After this, you can test your bot. So let me just send a message to my bot. The bots link will be down over here. You will find it at this particular bot and click on start. And as you can see, the message is stored over here. It's in message text and it is sent by Ali Solanki, which is me. So let me just save this and let's go ahead 
and set up our AI agent now. Now in AI agents, you first have to select the app, which is AI agents. Second part is selecting the event. This is going to be configure agent. And the third part is selecting your connection. So you have to connect it with your chat GPT. And in order to do that, just click on create new connection. And here you have to put open AI's secret key. How do you do that? Well, just open a new tab and over there type in open AI platform API key. Now this link will be there in the description box as well. So you can directly go over there, but here, let's just go on platform.openai.com and click on API keys. Here, you need to create a new secret key. Let me just do that quickly. Name it as auto kit new key. Select a project. If you want to keep it as a default project, you can absolutely do so. Permissions all and then click on create secret key. Now, once you do that, you will have your own secret key. Just make sure you copy this and save it somewhere. This is really important and we'll actually be using this on AutoKit as well. So just keep it safe with you. It won't be shown again. So let me just close this. And another thing that you have to make sure is going over to the billing section. Many people miss out on this and they'll get a lot of different errors if they don't perform this action. So make sure you do so. After going into billing, just click on add to credit balance and add a small amount so that your bot runs smoothly. If you don't have any balance, the bot won't be able to make any type of API requests and you'll get an error of rate limit. So if you ever face that error, it's probably because you've not added credit to your balance. So make sure you've done that. I've just added $3 for now, but even that works completely fine. So let me just paste my OpenAI secret key over here and click on connect AI agent. Perfect, so I've done that. Next, we go over to configure. So the user query is fetched directly from your Telegram. So make sure you cancel this and then press add the rate and select it from here, which is message text. Now, once you select that, go ahead and select the session key. Again, you'd have to cancel this and then add it again. This is basically from your Telegram. So which message ID to select from? Well, this is the message ID. Then we have additional instructions. I wouldn't recommend you guys to change anything over here. And let's just move ahead and click on continue. After that, we can directly test our action. So let's just do that. And agent has been configured successfully and you can see the output over here now because we have not asked it to generate any leads for any type of business it has just given us a final output will appear over here so let me just save this and move ahead okay so we've done our configuration with the ai agent next up is google maps yes we are going to connect google maps as well because that's where our ai will actually bring all the leads from so just go on selecting google maps over here next is select event so we'll just go ahead with text search and in the part of select connection we'll just create a new connection and we need to add our api key over here as well okay so in order to get google maps api key directly just click on this particular link it will be over here which is refer to this official document to create your API key. After this, just make sure you follow these three steps. The first step is account and billing. So go over there and ensure that you meet the requirements. It's really simple. First sign into your Google account and then go over to your billing page. In your billing page, you might not have any projects over here. So just click on create project and add a billing account. If you don't have a billing account, just create one and add it over here and then just click on create. Once you've done that, next is enabling the API directly. So let me just go on enable the API. And here, if you go down, you'd see enable the maps JavaScript API. Now this is a bit of a complicated process, but make sure to follow exactly what I'm doing so that you don't face any issues. Now over here, once you select the correct project, make sure you've selected the correct project, click on enable to enable your maps JavaScript API. Once you've enabled this, you'd be able to use it in your project. Okay. So after you've enabled maps, JavaScript API, the next thing that you need to do is search for places API, places API, 
and click on the first result. Now this will help you in looking at all the places in a particular locality and fetching all the leads. Over here as well, you need to enable it for your project. Okay, so we've performed the first two steps. The last step to enable your maps API is to make your first request. So let's just generate the API key. That's what is required on AutoKit as well. So let me just go over here and click on this button, which is go to the keys and credentials page where you'll find your API key. So let me just go on the project and here we can see API keys, maps, platform API key. So just click on show key and copy this API key and keep it with you. We'll be using it on AutoKit directly. So let me just go back to AutoKit and paste it in this section. Perfect. So click on connect Google Maps and once you've successfully connected it, click on continue. Now I know this process was a bit complicated, but make sure you do not miss out on any steps and watch it again if you do not understand anything. If you still don't understand it, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you out. Now in the next part, you have to add your query. Query is going to be this dynamic mapping that you get from your AI agent. So AI agent will automatically detect what is the query that it needs to put over here. Next is click on continue and test action. Perfect. So it has worked successfully. Let's just save this and go over to our Google Sheets and start connecting that as well. So usually the difficult step of actually setting up this AI agent is to get different APIs and set it up over here. Apart from that, everything is pretty much straightforward. So just make sure you follow along and do not miss out on steps. So over here, just select Google Sheets as your app. Second is add new row. That is what we'll be selecting. And then the last part is select connection. This is pretty straightforward. Just click on create new connection and connect it with your Google account. Perfect. So once you've done that, click on configure and let's configure our Google Sheets. So first of all, you need to select your spreadsheet. If you've not created a spreadsheet already, just go over to sheets.google.com and create a new spreadsheet from here. After you create this blank spreadsheet, just add three columns. The columns would be title, address and rating or you can replace the title as name. So name, address, rating. These are the three things that we want to fetch for all of our leads. We want to fetch their address. We want to fetch the name and the rating on Google Maps. Now go back to your AutoKit and make sure you select the correct spreadsheet and the correct worksheet. Once you've done that, you would automatically see name, address and rating over here directly. Just make sure to select dynamic mapping for all of these things. If you don't know how to do that, just type in add the rate and then select dynamic mapping for each of them. After that, click on continue and then we'll test this action as well. Perfect. The action is successful. Save it and we are off to our last connection, which is Telegram again. Over here, your connection would already be selected. So go over to the configure section and click on HTML or Markdown. Anything works for now. I'll just select HTML and here in the message, it will be, Hey, and then the response output. We want to get the output from the AI agent. So let's just select that and response output is going to be over here. Okay, perfect. So I've done that. Now let's just press continue and then test this action as well. Okay. So if you go over to your telegram bot, you would see, Hey, the final output will be here. Okay. So let's test this entire bot and update it and save it in the same version and see if it actually works. So say, for example, I go over to telegram and ask it to generate three leads for gyms in Mumbai. Okay, so I've sent my request over here. After a few seconds, it should generate three leads, send it to me on Telegram as well as store it on Google Sheets as well. Okay, perfect. So I have all the leads here with me. There are three leads, Waves Gym plus Fitness and Iron Paradise. All of them are situated in Mumbai itself. And I have the ratings over here as well, 4.9, 4.7 and 4.9 as well. So let's see if it has updated this on my Google sheet as well. Let's just go back and here you can see Waves Gym plus Fitness and Iron Paradise along with their ratings has been 
completely updated. Now you've mastered the toughest part, which is generating leads. But there are a lot of other things that you need to learn as well in order to monetize the skill. First is learning a skill. Second is pitching the skill to your clients. And third is monetizing the skill. And all of these things are covered in my course, which is guide to freelancing. So if you haven't actually checked that out, we're currently running a discount of 20% for this particular course. So go check it out. So that's it for this video. And if you want the entire workflow completely for free, just click on the link down in the description box or in the pinned comments. And if you face any issues, just let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to help you out.